This is problems. Uh, I don't know where I'm supposed to put this. Maybe I'm just supposed to use this to get up. No. No, no, no. no. We have to. Oh, try, here. try doing the fire orb stuff. No, no, no. I have to put it down on this. Okay. Oh, I see. It's timed. Yep. Dang. Not. I'm just gonna reset it. Oh, I, I see why we, we were supposed to do what we did. Bad timing, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she just punches everything. Uh, come on. That might be the standard animation for interacting with things. Yeah. Extending your hand, but then it, it resembles a punch. I, I'm sure it is. Can you destroy that crate? No. Oh. No, it's too complex of an environment uh, piece to actually be destroyed. Like, I really like the stonework and stuff. I just, I was super confused. Oh, it's the shopkeeper. I'm gonna raid your okay, let's secret little thing Okay, let's deliberate over what we should get. Okay. I've deliberated. We are buying the fez. Not the fez. The... Wait, that is a fez, right? I, I think so. Yeah. Okay, shall we get the fez? Oh. And then... We're buying the fez. And, and then, then what color scheme? I like the one on the far right. Yeah, I like the, the one on the far right. Let's save red. up for that. <laughs> oh my. Fezes are cool. <laughs> I remember you bought one in Bosnia, and I don't know if you... Fezes are not cool, but... I have one, and I'm fine with that. It looks like a bucket. I know. What were the uh? What are the people that wear fezes? And they like drive around in the little mini cars. What? You've never heard of that? No. Uh, are they shot? Sh I've only ever seen carnival monkeys with them. No, it's like for whatever reason, it's like traditional for old dudes to wear fezes and drive around in tiny cars. I, I think. Mm -hmm. oh. And look at the yeah Shriners. On that. I thought so. What is a Shriner? I think I've only ever heard of them in uh, the Simpsons, largely. Like it's a thing that some people do. Do people still do that? Okay, we'll give this game credit. It is getting more complex uh, as we go along. Oh, now bear with me as I go a punch a wizard in the face a bunch of times. <laughs> Those agonized cries. Ah. Look, I my quota for wizard abuse has dropped lately, and I I need to. Uh, now can only one cube exist at a time. Yeah. Okay. I need to brush up on wizard abuse just to feel alive. Oh, the block does actually have physics. That's good. All right, well, we're able to cease the flames, and wow, that that bird took off at high speeds. I was almost expecting a sonic boom to go after it. Like, I I didn't even really notice. I just kind of became aware that yeah, there was a bird at one point there. Got a little dust cloud after it. Yeah. Uh, how do we get over to this? Well, that's fine. Uh, looks like we're probably supposed to approach from approach from the opposite side, or do your special spell power and oh. see what happens. Nope. No, maybe from the other side then. Yeah. Ah. Out. Yeah, that was the one that had been lighted. Okay, good. The levels are getting more complex. It's a time segment. Oh, and there are several. I think Is we're that good it? though. Yep. I think that's all of them. That was. Okay, we're good. Yep. Yep. Really? Nothing? No. Oh, interesting. My staff pulse just uh, breaks oh, it, fireballs. It eradicates them. Well, that's nice. Or nullifies their power. That's good. Not immediately or amazingly necessary, but it's nice. 
Okay, so right, that so gets us here. So can you shine a light just to see if... Yeah, because how do you get those extra... Ah! Whoop. Well, that didn't work. Those extra green crystals. It's a little beyond your reach. Oh, Shriners International, also commonly known as the Shriners, is a society established in 1870. It's headquartered in Tampa, Florida. It's an independent body to fee Freemasons. Oh, interesting. I always get kind of surprised when I hear, uh, the like Freemasons me. Freemasons have have aprons. Maybe. I went to a Freemason ceremony. Oh right, your were. grandfather was one. Yep. I always get a little they, bit. They wear aprons at their special ceremonies. I always get a bit surprised when I hear people are still Freemasons because I don't, I don't even know. They have like some tenets and codes. I, I suppose well, many of the founding fathers and n numerous presidents had been a part of it. I think they were just supposed to be like. Oh, there we some, go. Some kind of. Back in the old days, they may have been community leaders, or... But it... I don't know. Lately, of course, people have likened them to... What would it be? Not the Illuminati or something, I right? mean, people, people absolutely... Well, it's because the eye symbol with that pyramid is used so often. Well, I think it's one of those where it's easy to blame shady organizations, even if it is complete nonsense. Mm-hmm. Like, it's the Masons that did it. It's the Illuminati. It's the la le lu le lo Well, didn't they actually have that as part of National Treasure? Uh, they had mentioned the Masons and stuff. Maybe, yeah. I mean, it it really varies based on the me whatever media it is and, like, you know, whatever they need to accomplish. One of my favorite... I don't know if you would call it a collectibles at my grandparents' house is this ceremonial sword that used to belong to a J.D. Burns. I don't know who the man is. Mr. I... Burns. <laughs> Manages a nuclear power plant. <laughs> and it's such a beautiful ceremonial sword. It... So, ceremonial so swords, as per their nature, don't have a honed edge. Um, it's just sort of like a thin blade. It's completely etched in gold with uh, sort of scenery depicting knights and jousting and such and animals in the forests. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And, you know, the name is inscribed. And I think it has a sharp point, but other than that, it's purely just for dress. And the whole scabbard is um, etched as well. And it has a lot of like eagle iconography as well. I think the pommel might have an eagle head on it or something. Or was that the cavalry sword from 1812 that they also had? I don't know, but... Dang it. Just a really pretty sword and it's interesting. It From one of the prongs on the hilt, there's a chain that would then attach to the base of the pommel. I just thought it was interesting. It's kind of like a guard. You know how there's the hand guard? Yeah. But it's a chain instead of a, a solid metal piece. I guess it makes sense to do that sort of thing. Because, like, really you just need something so that uh, if a sword slashes down or whatever, it doesn't slice your fingers off. And so technically I could see a chain... Serving that purpose? Ish? Not very well, it was a thin Not chain. very no well, yeah, probably more decor decorative than anything else. Mm hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know if you could specifically order these Masonic swords Pro or. Probably. Or if it was some kind of special gift. Oh. See, how's our night going so far? Uh, good. Slay the Spire is always fun. Cave Blaze is always hard. This game, eh? 
I just... I don't know. I think I'm still kind of in that, like, I don't know what to think about this, because, like, I'm... Well, for starters, this difficulty curve got interdasting <laughs> in a hurry. Oh, watch out. That's fine. Because it's like... I'm just wondering, who built these ruins? Why, why are those little, fire? Why are those little creatures living here? I think they built it. I think they're just little jerks. That's mm -hmm. why I've been punching the wizard so much. Because I think they deserve it. There's no consequences for failure. Nor feedback when you get hit. Oh. What does this do? What happened? I ran out of HP, apparently. Is it game over? Nope. We're or back here again. Start here? I see. It just resets the, uh, the room we're on. Okay, well. Oh, does that mean you lose all your... All of the things the I picked coin. up. Well, it's or, fine. Not coins. I have I a solution. I keep saying coins, but they're crystals. Oh, every once in a while, send out a pulse. Well, also, if I take any damage to immediately jump into the pit, because as long as I have two HP left, when I fall in, when you, when you fall, you take one heart of damage. So if you've got one or two, uh, if you only have one heart left falling into the pit, is a game over. Right. However, uh, if you say have two health left, like so, uh, you'll just oh, you can also respawn go back, to him to... back at the gong, gong guy. You actually have to switch gong, gong men uh, to get them to re-gong. They won't re-gong until you've re-gong. That's a weird <laughs> verbiage. Uh, but they won't re-gong until you've, uh, you've gone to a different gong guy. <laughs> gong they, guy? Yeah, they have to, they have to assert their dominance or something. Was that it? I think so. That's probably it. I'm also having a hard time caring. Wait. Oh, you weren't gonna turn off the lever? Eh. If anybody wants to follow me, they're gonna have a harder time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they just okay. There was already a block situated there. Yeah. But that's one. That one's made out of wood, as opposed to. Yeah. I think stone. we're supposed to get two. Yeah. There's there's another box here. Oh, one of those again. You got it? Yeah. Uh, okay, so that gets us this box. Then we go around. I I really have to give this game credit, though. Like, the visuals for where we are are downright gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Uh. Oh. Oh, that doesn't seem to influence anything there. But you need an additional block for that one. Yeah, so I have to get that box. Yeah, yeah. First. Okay, so we, we gotta go get this box and move it over and stuff. Mm hmm. See, I think Wonder missed a red one. I mean, realistically, I only care about one singular outfit in the entire list. So, not having enough money really doesn't hold me back that much. Like, I'll be like, oh, I missed a thing. Uh, okay. Yeah, no. it's all cosmetic gear. It's not necessarily anything that increases your stats. Ooh, this isn't good. Dirk Wad McTiki face. Just <laughs> to cool it. Okay, we got a gong. There's the gong. There's the key. Alright. Yay, so we have Yay. the key. And there's your shadow, once again. Yeah, the Going weird circle, the circle shadow that makes no sense. I, I think it's a unity thing, probably. I'm gonna punch that wizard. Ah, oh, little moving platform. No. I probably missed whatever the secret 
coin area shrine nonsense. Yeah, who cares? So, there's probably going to be four or five worlds. How many crystals were there? I I don't know. Because I assume that one I know nothing. is associated with each world. Soaring Summit. I know nothing. I will admit this game is making me really motion sick, actually. I don't know if it's the frame rate or, like, some level of, like, fuzzing or something. I think it's how bright the environment oh. is. Oh. Oh. Hello there. Wow, you made it all the way up here, Ellie. That makes me glad. This is my favorite place so far. Maybe a little place to settle down one day. I see that you have yet to reclaim a single crystal. I hope my little trial is not the cause of the delay. I have heard of a very good fish restaurant around here somewhere. I think that'll be my next stop on the travels. Good luck finding the crystals. Yeah. Up, up, and away. Me, me, you out. <laughs> Are you hiccuping again? Yes. Also, wait. That cutscene. Why were there... There were like four of them in a row sitting on I the ledge. I think it was his family. His family? Okay. Me. And they were just wagging their heads back and forth. And did you see him laughing? Well, you heard him laugh, I suppose I should say. He was like, I hope that what? I didn't delay you. What? For what? What is this? What? 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 Maybe you're not supposed to go that way anymore. What? I... Invisible walls. I... Uh... What? So you need a green and a yellow, but then... Uh... How are you gonna go back? Yeah, that's one way to escape. I... Um... You might have to restart the game? Because how else are you... Why don't you use your staff? I... Jump in the air! Uh, wiggle around! <laughs> Worm your way through that. I... Actually, jump over the bridge. Diagonally, like, over that. Yes! Why is there an invisible wall here? Oh, no. How do we get back? Okay. Yeah, That's yeah, how we, we can, get back. We can get back. Okay. But... At least we figured it out. I... I shouldn't have to do that. <laughs> I... Okay, so you got <laughs> yellow. Why? Oh boy. Uh, okay. Oops. Well, at least we've turned it off for good. I think Mimio has like a Mimimo. Yeah, Mimimo. A little sadistic. Isn't well, he? no, no, no. I think Mimimo actually is the invisible wall. He didn't despawn. He's still there, but invisible. And he's got a really large hitbox, so you can't walk past him and ignore the cutscene. Oh, no, that, that makes sense. But he's supposed to poof away, like they always do. I I'm just saying that's that's my like perception of what's going on here. So how many do you have? All of them? Sends you a flaming rock. No. Well, I have to turn off the flame jets. Mainly, I'm just punching him. Look, abusing wizards is my jam. My new secret jam, but jam nonetheless. Oh, uh oh. Well, this could be a problem. I could make it back. I. I well, I, try walking through it normally. Or, okay, we're or good. Not. We're good. So I need yellow, uh, yellow and green. Yellow and green for that. It's one. rotated. Nope. Uh, 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 there you go. There we go. What a pretty game! It is gorgeous. I just it I. It's confusing. The the little mud doll people are confusing, and. Oh. Oh. Oh, we need the box. 
Oh, does that put down the... Mm. Yeah, we need the box from the wizard to get that open. Uh, okay. Okay, well, there's... There's, there's another one. In the lower area. So let's see what that does. Okay, that's red, green, and blue. So I wonder what kind of headphones are you wearing? I am wearing uh, eight, uh, some Audio Technica brand. I forget, unfortunately. Audio Technica is that? What was that? I think they're like the ATX40 or whatever they call them. Yeah, something like that. I like them enough. Okay, question. Throw Inv it over. Visible wall. Cares nothing. Oh, right. We have to go get the, uh... Yeah, did you see how you bumped around it in midair? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Gonna put that over there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't think the invisible wall apply applied to the cube. Definitely applies, applies to me, though. Oh, right. Yeah. We just want to put it down on this. Yep, and that brings that down. Grab this. Looks like we've got a bunch of little oh, yeah. bits here. Some bits and then one of those Nothing? spheres. It's not like I really care. Not I'm mainly just waiting for the next, uh... I'm just waiting for the next shop to show up so we can try out different robes. Yep, that's the lock gate. Is that a chef? It looks like it. Oh, those like totem things have... Do they have crystals inside them? Uh, they have the, they have the hat coins. I suppose they are wearing hats themselves. Oh. Nope, Looks can't like go in there. Can't, can't swim. Okay, so I guess we're supposed to go in this doorway. Uh. First time I've had to go collect a thing from one, one section and bring it back. That was a nice serpentine staircase. Yeah. Do you miss uh, games having the like little collectible baubles all over the place that you have to grab? You know, in this case, we've got the crystals. Well, remember, I grew up with banjo kazooie and banjo. Too. Yeah. So. So like that was a staple for you. Do you miss it? Hmm. Mm. It's one of those things where it provided an incentive for you to find hard to reach areas, and. Additionally, there would also be, I believe, parts of the game where if you, say, slid down a hill or something, they were staggered in such a way that you were supposed to try to, say, slide down by going back and forth, back and forth, and collecting them all in one go. But, you know, if you have to go back and do it a second time, that's fine. It was just, I don't know, it was fun. But, it, once again, it depends on the story because at the moment, I don't know why these are scattered about. Who uses them? And the like. Yeah. I think for me, whenever I see a game with the collectible crystals all, all over the place, I'm just... And then again, I don't know if there was an explanation for the musical notes either. No. Now, for Banjo-Tooie, there was the guy with the pages. So you, were, you would try to collect pages for him to complete his book. What? I gotta get my punch on. But sometimes you you have to just abuse a wizard or two. Wait, which one do you have available? The green one? Uh, I have se several available. Okay, yeah, because there was that one to get a green. Yeah, we've got hand. this over here. Yeah, no blue. Oh, right. I actually have to place them into the thing. That's that's what's going on. I I like the little audio cues for that. Do, yeah. Do, do. Oh. Oh no, it requires all of them. Ooh. Well, then where's blue? Have you gone up the blue other is one? probably all the way up up top. Mhm. Mm okay, that should be open then. 
There you go. You have a thing for me? We still haven't found that key for the chef either. Oh. Wait, what? There. Okay, there's a section over there. And have you also been using your staff to ensure that? Not enough. Clearly. Oh, there's that over there. Mm-hmm. Aha. Oops. It's fine. We've got we've got this right here. Oh, and they're already They've already respawned. Yep. All set. Yep. I, Dick. Burp. I never understood the time gated yep. platforms. You know? Oh uh, like cause those those platforms will crumble, the circular ones. It's but then they respawn. Um I guess just to force you to do hurry? so swiftly. Yeah. And with faultlessly without any mistakes. But the thing is a mistake would send you careening into the into the chasm anyway. Most so. games I think it doesn't Oh, I don't know. I feel like in most games, yeah, having time pl platforms like that is just like random and not terribly necessary. I think in this game, yeah, not necessary at all. It's infuriating in certain other games like uh shoot I mean, yesterday we were playing Double Cross. If they had platforms that would disappear under your feet, if you were on them too long. They had a couple that would just disappear as a timed thing. You know, they just blink on and off. But that's akin to those wooden platforms that come up and down, up and down. Yeah, those I don't mind as much. The ones that, like, just fall apart underneath you, that's a little bit different. And I, I think if a game does it well, it's fine. I think normally it's just confusing. Speaking of... Where am I? Why am I here? Where am I supposed to go? I, I guess further up. Yep. Okay. Yep. And the little pitter patter of the footsteps. I. I'm gonna go back I to just what I was. I like the violin music. I, I'm gonna go back to what I was saying. This is such a weird mismatch of like lovely music, lovely sound design, lovely world design. But, like, why do I have to even decide which direction to rotate this? I, I guess it might matter later. Also, was that an orb at the top that you could activate with your staff? Yeah, camera. Wander? Hmm? Can you activate the orb at the top of that with your staff? Uh, maybe? Because it was an orange orb. Oh, that's a good point. Oh, wait, maybe I go this way. No. Doesn't seem to be. I feel like I'm missing something. Yeah, that. Can you? No, you can't activate it. It's just a weird. It's just a thing. Oh, okay. I keep expecting to see something over staff. there. Nothing. No. Okay. And it's also one of those where it is hard to decide. Is this actually worth it? Uh, oh, right. I gotta actually open the gate. Uh, is it actually worth, like, going out of my way to explore, apart from the the feeling of exploring? <laughs> and Mimimo's chastised you for having not retrieved even one crystal. I'm going, hmm. I've got a lot of crystals. Just apparently not the one you're looking for. Well, remember, one of the... I don't know if they were dodecahedrons or something else, but... They were the advanced crystals. They were the time crystals. They were the special ones. Those are these random guff crystals that you trade for hats. Oh, I mean clothing. Sorry. Hats are a different currency. Yeah, they stole those from the Sims or something. Don't get the Sims have those above their heads. Those uh, diamonds. In green. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, we're here. Why didn't you collect that disc? We don't need it. We're just leaving. We came all the way down here. No, you need something for that. What? No, but we got it. Do you have the key? Yeah. But I thought this was the key for the chef. Because we already did this level. Didn't we? 
Why did you skip out on yeah, collecting we did this level before. the red disc? Because we didn't. I didn't think we needed it. I think we need it to open everything up again. But we're not going that way. We're not going through Can that. Can you grab the red disc regardless? Sure. Because now you at least have it. And then why don't you put them all on the platform? Uh... Oh, that's weird. Why was there another blue one? Oh. Oh, this is where we're supposed to go. Okay, here we go. This is what we needed. Here's the key. So why did you need to collect a red and a blue disc? Unless there's something else. No, they're reset. Yeah. They're not in this area. Yeah. Hmm. Hi there. I'm Papapo. Chef, entrepreneur, and the leader of the Mandragora. Everyone's Only the leader. highest quality fish is being cooked here. It's all just the same dude. Probably. You only have the slightest good taste. You will agree with uh, with that my food... Wait, with that my food is the best in the whole world. Just through here, you'll find our kitchen. But where are the hot plates? They're not foot friendly. Okay, I have to go now. Bye. Oof. What? Remember, the hot plates. Y yeah. That's how they cook their food on... Why do they need... Why do they need, need baking apparatuses? Shall this game hurts my brain. That are ten, time lar ten times larger than them. What are they cooking here? Where's your fish? Yeah, where is all the fish? Oh. Wait, you weren't supposed to jump down there? I only had one HP left because there's not a whole lot of feedback for taking fire damage. Mm -hmm. You know, usually when you touch fire and your character will, like, set on fire and hop around going like, Ooh, ah! You know, a bunch, right? Well, I think it's also too easy to lose a heart. Or two hearts. Maybe they should have given you five hearts. I don't think it matters. It doesn't matter, but... Then why have hearts at all? That's my question, honestly. Hope it burned. So you need to have it... land when there isn't... Um, a hot, what do they call it? A filament? Or, no, a filament's for light bulbs. No, that's, that's a filament, I believe. It's considered a filament as I well? I think so. Or metal coil, maybe? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's not in a coil shape, like most stove tops, but, well, it's a serpentine one. I, uh... Oh! That, oh, that's... That's fire, of course. Oh. Don't care. Maybe you should nope. time it. No, I know. I was just hoping I could, like, fling myself into the wild blue yonder and make it. Trick jumps are for kids. Me, mainly. Oh, you took a... Wait, I took damage there? Mm-hmm. Just from standing above... Maybe it's the hot air? I... Oh, good. Okay, so that just. Oh, so even the stones heal the you. Yep, yep. Oh, no. no. And that does send you backwards. Yeah. Oh, well. I. I'm not gonna lie. This is. weird. <laughs> I just like it, it. Really, is an N sixty four game, but with the all the beauty and veneer of a modern game, and it's so. I smell a hat corn. I saw a hat corn. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty good. These, no. These creatures have impeccable senses for what? I mean, they don't even seem to have noses. I'm assuming we just have to go across the, like, weird breakable rocks. Or wait, there's that ledge over ah, there, no. too. I always think it's just further in that one direction, but no. It's, it's difficult to do isometric on a diagonal. Well, 
It's really hard to do this sort of thing when you can't rotate your camera. Right. So That's you have, my sticking point. You have point. to pull towards you as opposed to... Because, like, it's away. it's hard for me to figure out, like, where exactly I'm supposed to be going in some of these. Isn't so... this how LEGO Star Wars handled things? Yeah, it was. You couldn't rotate the camera in LEGO Star Wars. But Yeah, what I was wondering is if you could jump over there later. Your answer is yes. You mean over on the left here? No, no, the right, right. Oh, you mean around the edge. Yeah, yeah. let's go see if we can find another gong so I don't have to go through this entire rigmarole. Ooh. There it is. Yep. We have been gonged, so now I don't have to make those... They have been sounded. ...timed jumps. Yeah, Maybe, that one. This just makes me want to play another hob. That game is... Makes me sad. Hmm, because that was the last of the studios? Well, sort of. They've gone on to reform and then make Torchlight Frontiers? Mm -hmm. Question mark. So for Lucky, we're actually just going to get. Wait, what was the point of this entire area? Just to get me back up here Wait. when I could have walked? I, oh, okay. I guess it makes sense. So heal from a block there, but. Oh. Wait, hold up. What? How are you. What? Uh. But that's gonna burn. Yeah. Well, why don't you put that down on? Wasn't there one more pad? Somewhere? Probably. Whoop. I'm surprised that the box didn't catch on fire, too. Convenience. Oops. I guess let's not be set on fire here. Mm hmm. I have a whole lot of HP. I'm, oh, there it is. There you go. So, yeah, the areas are getting a little bit more complex. I think. Uh, I think we have, like, a branch here. Maybe. 